Okay, so for this one, you're given this equation, and this describes the cost of running a refrigerator uh, T years since 1970. So for the first part, it's asking us to find the cost of running the refrigerator in 1980. So that means the cost, and you can say cost, um, since we're using function notation, um, cost evaluated at 10 years would be 148 minus 28 and then that's going to be 10 raised to the one-third. And then from there, I'm just going to grab out a calculator, and I'm going to type that in pretty much just how it looks. When you're typing um, this part right here, depending on how your calculator works, make sure that that one-third um, has parentheses around it when you do. So it's like you're going to type 148 minus 28 times 10 raised to. If your calculator doesn't automatically open those parentheses or move up to the um, exponent, make sure to get those there. And so when I do that, I get uh, this was 87.675. And then it's a round to the nearest cent, so that would round up. So that would be 87.68. So that would be the cost to run the refrigerator 10 years after 1970, which is 1980. So to do part B of this, it's the exact same thing. It's just it's 1990, so it's 20 years after 1970, but same process. And then B is kind of the same thing, um, where they have you do it twice, but it's, it's the same problem, just with two different numbers. So when was the cost of running a refrigerator half of the cost in 1970? So if we look at this equation up here, 1970 would mean T was zero, it was no year since 1970, and this whole thing drops out. So the cost of running it at 1970 would have been $148. So $148 um, divided by two, because we're supposed to figure out what is the cost, half of it, um, that would be 74. And so now we're plugging in for the cost side of the equation and we're solving for time because it's asking for the when. So that will look like 74 equals 148 minus 28 uh, t to the one-third. So then to solve this, um, we need to isolate the root part. So the first thing I'll do is bring over the 148. And then that's going to be negative 74 equals negative 28t to the one-third. And then let's divide out that 28 and get this all by itself. And we come over here. Um, so then t to the one-third equals uh, double negative, so that's going to be a positive. So 74 over 28. And then this time, so here um, I have a root, and remember to undo roots, we use powers. So since this is like a cube root, I'm going to raise both sides to the one third, or sorry, to the third, because um, three times one third would make that t in the first, which is what we're trying to get to. And so now we have t equals this number. Um, for that, I would just toss it in the calculator, go 74 divided by 28, make that. 2.64, yada, 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 and then we raise that to the third, and not even write out that number, just let the calculator keep track of it for me. And so I got 18.459 years after uh, 1970. So 18 years after 1970 would have been 1988, and now we're a half a year beyond that. That's that decimal. So this means that we're actually in 1989. So T equals, it's like, you know, May or something of 1989. So that would be uh, the year that the cost was $74. And then this next part is the exact same thing, except now it's a 50 and you're doing the same steps. Hopefully that helps.